Right, Q&A will be it. Today's June 22nd, 2024, here in Pacifica, California. 12 miles south of San Francisco. Uh, 51, 63 is the temperature outdoors. That's 10 to 17 degrees Celsius. The metal midaka today is, let me, right here. Right here, right now, this sticker from Barry Midaka. I also got a uh, beautiful, beautiful t-shirt over here. Size M. Um, is what I wear. That uh, was the back. That's the front. Awesome style. Um, let me just take a real quick sip. The best beer of the day is the one that I am having with you, all you Medaka heads out there. Um, let's see. I'm playing. I'm still playing around with the zoom action. Let's see if it'll focus. That's two times. This is four times. Those are the hariko, the fry. Um, from the uh, Red Cliffs. They are about three weeks old now. Almost, I think. Oh, yeah, the best beer of the day is the one that I am having with you. Um, Domo Arigato. I figure, um, I don't know. There's nothing planned. Um, I've been moving stuff around, meaning I need space for fry. And for these newer generations of Midakas, um, for their for their fins to grow properly and all that, you need the temperature. So they're pretty much tropical fish. So I keep these boys and girls indoors. They're heated to close to 80. It says 80, but the water temperature is not 80. Um, so more and more space is required, um, especially when you have fry and, and all that stuff. So what I'm doing right now, or what I am attempting to do is to, these are all five gallon aquilon tanks to turn all these into my fry kind of, um, husband dory systems. Yeah. Over here, I have some juveniles. So these are F1s from the ones that I got from Japan. Um, I don't want to put heaters on in all of them. So what I do is I sandwich it. So I have a heater here, no heater, I have a heater here, I have a heater, no heater, and a heater over here. So provided that these middle ones over here um, get some type of insulation per se. It's all room temperature, but I set these tanks to 80. So this is about what, I don't know, hopefully it's like 72, 73 at least degrees Fahrenheit to cut the electricity bill down. Um, that's one of the things. So um, all these had like adults or juveniles. Uh, I moved them downstairs to the tank on the bottom floor uh, level. I just have to move these uh, red cliffs um, from here downstairs. Um, but for breeding, you don't just collect eggs from all these boys and girls, right? You look for the best male, you look for the best females, and you want to quarantine them into a small section where you are going to collect eggs. So what I started doing a couple weeks ago um, is, like, over here, um, hopefully this mic is working today. I have a new setup on this microphone. Um, hopefully it's not buzzing. These are the red cliffs, right? They're, eh, some are better than others. But the best ones I put over here. I have them quarantined. So it's floating. It's more about the water volume. So it's this is a 10-gallon Alcreon tank. And I float this. Um, what am I floating? This thing is freaking awesome. Um, I got it in Japan. It's super thick. And um, they float perfectly um you have the screens over here um this is what i've been i wish i bought more um but next time when i go back to see my, my family i'll definitely uh buy more of these things but this is what this is so they flow perfectly uh, over here i have a trio of um my top um what i call my top uh red cliffs right 
None of these here have deformities per se, physical deformity. It's just the shape that I, I, I don't like. There's certain ones that I, I, I really like. I was like, yeah, this, this is worthy of being the parents in the wild. So that's the trio that I have down here. Again, the biggest difference is I think the OG um, style medakas were like, they were top view. So the body shape confirmation didn't really matter. But now that all these newer generation Minakas are appreciated by their side view, it's not just the top. You just want you want to, you really want to make sure that the body shape is good, meaning the head has a good shape. Um, the girth, they have girth and the tail as well. Um, this tank over here is another uh, Tangel and Aquion. Two dividers in here. Um, these are the crosses that I got from my um, Midnight Frio Lama and the Red Cliff um, Kohaku. And again, they break into multiple different variations. Here's a, a super nice one um, yellow head, silver body. And then you have the dark body um, with some lame um, over here. The container I have over here is my number one. Let me see if I can. Number one meaning um, they're dark as hell. Um, you put these in a, a clear container, a white container, they're not going to lose their color. They're going to stay black dark so I have a trio over here um, that is going to produce see that one over there the body's all black but you're going to see a lot of it almost looks like a taigaiko at this at this point but uh, a lot of lame so I have them in here so I'm using these dividers um, because I don't have space. Again, I don't worry too much about the water quality because these are 10 gallons each. Right? So the water's flowing and all that stuff. I just keep them separated from the rest. So when I do collect eggs, let me see if I can. Uh, when I do collect eggs, which I usually do at night when I get home because they'll lay them in in the morning, early state, early, and I don't have a light that'll show, let me see. I typically have a, a here. Is it gonna zoom in for me? Maybe not, but they're on there. But uh, that's what I collect. Um, up over here, again, I'm trying to, um, I'm going to quickly run out of space for sure. Um, but I have all the eggs. Uh, I did this a uh, couple weeks ago, right? Or last week. Here are the ones that are about to hatch. Um, there's already a few over here since this morning. This morning, what I did, uh, there's one that's about to come out. See that? It's not dead. It's like 90% out. And once that boy or girl frees him or herself, it's going to come right up to the top. All those black dots, they're all the eyes. They're pretty electric, yeah. Um, same thing with over here. Oh, there's one that just popped up. He or she was not there this morning, but it's pretty dark. At this stage, you could really tell if one is going to turn dark or light. So, from here, I'll put them over here. Meaning, I'll scoop them out. By the way, when you're scooping them out, don't use nets because the nets will destroy them. Um, meaning, let me just try to see if I can grab this. 
if you're using a traditional net like this, the fry, they're so small and they're so delicate, you're probably going to break their bone. Right? A lot of the other things that people use are these uh, siphons where you second them out, right? This one's kind of small, but a lot of people use turkey base, uh, the butter base or siphons, siphon them out. But that suction of the water, they're so small and delicate that is, it can break their bones again, their, their spines and all that. So what I like to do is I get a spoon like this and I'm not going to demonstrate it now because I'm not ready but basically you see that one right there you wait till it comes to the surface and then you use the, uh, the surface liquid tension and that's what you do scoop them up like that and that is how you transfer little tiny newborn hariko um, into another container and here's here are the containers that I, I use I love using these you can buy these at Daiso they're great um, and once they're there they are here are the some here are the some what kind of English is that here are some of the ones that I scooped up past like two days um Yeah, they look like they're doing okay. Like this one's dark, this one's dark, this one's dark. That one is light. So at this stage, you could already start like, I don't know, separating them based on your likes, right? Um, I don't mix lineages. These are the same, but some are darker, some are not. Like how I illustrated downstairs. Um. I like, I want to start to, um, I don't know. I like the dark ones and I'm just calling them black ribs just because they're not a specific breed or lineage or anything. It's just the darker ones that are coming out from the cross that I have done with the red cliff and the, um, midnight frill. Let me just take a real quick sip. Oh boy. I should keep my beer closer to me. All right, so um, enough of me. 12 minutes. I was going to wrap this up in five, but it's 12 minutes. Um, Domo arigato. Thank you very much gracias, for tuning in again to me, just babbling about, um, babbling around based on what I'm doing on a daily basis, I guess. Uh, this is for these boys and girls are about uh, two weeks these boys and girls are about two weeks as well. Super tiny, super tiny. Um, the tanks are about like, I don't know, 78 to 72 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And uh, they all have sponge filters. That mop I just left in there. Don't, it's, it's, it's nothing. I like dirty tanks. Uh, they'll feed off of whatever that's growing in there. Uh, Hariko. Fries, love to eat. This one's empty. I'm sending this up. This one's about three weeks, right? Um, again, this is the most challenging part for me. I suck at growing fry because this tank over here, I put in about 40. Now there's about 35. And I think by the time they get to the size that I would like them to be, that's like two thirds of an inch. I'll probably be left with a handful, a little handful. But uh, hopefully I could become a better father to these. Um, it's my beer. So I can better take care of them. Um, but again, that's that's a journey. Uh, pretty fun stuff. You just have to find, there is no one way. There is a million ways. You just have to find what works for you, your lifestyle, uh, your setup, your limitations. Uh, maybe you have tons of space. That's great. But you just have to make it work with what you have in front of you and uh, try to make the best. So that's the fun of all this stuff. So.
All right. We'll do it again next time. Do marigato. Uh, by the way, by the way, what the hell? Let me just take another real quick sip. Food. The food that has been really working incre incredibly great. Um, I'm not going to sound like a like a salesperson, but I, I've used tons of stuff um, over the years. Um, the third wave. The reason why I mention why I am mentioning this is because um, here this stuff the Ayahimi Gex. Um, I had the first wave, the second wave, and the third wave. I am. This is the third wave. Uh, this is all. Um, I guess for this year, um, that's it. The third wave, um, and uh, that's it for this season. I guess because summer is like here. I don't want to be left over with a bunch of food. So the third wave, um, the first wave went um, kind of slow. Second wave just kind of disappeared, and here we are, the third third wave, I guess. Um, another question that I get is I insert these stickers um, in every single order. I do that because, or because uh, my buddy over here helped me uh it's this sticker over here this buddy over here in japan's uh been helping me um getting these in here importing these uh through the proper channels um so that they are available to all you medicaids over here in the u.s so he was kind enough generous enough to give me a bunch of stickers so every single one um so this is not me it's just my buddies my buddy's company he's huge in japan right now so Third wave, um, and next year we'll see what we'll do. Um, I'm sure there is like newer foods and all that that may come into the market. I'll try them all out if I'd like, but right now this is my go to for breeding and growing and uh, for for letting, letting them grow and all that stuff. Uh, they're super easy to crush. Uh, what do you mean crush? So, like, Medaka's right, you have different sizes and all that, and they have different sizes, their mouths. Some are larger, some are smaller. They're super easy to crush, and I could actually feed them to my fry. You crush them into powder form, and uh, they just gobble it up. So, all right, enough of me. Real quick sip. Maybe, I, um, depending on what I do today, I could upload something else, but. For me, some some other people are fantastic, man. By by week three, they're humongous. Uh, this is the size that I could get them up to. Um, feeding them twice a day, once in the morning, once when I get back from work. Um, so we'll see how they turn out to look like. I could see that they're eating because their bellies have color, right? They're brown. The food is brown. Their belly's brown. That means they're eating something. So, awesome. All right. We'll do it again next time. Come by Chin Chin. Uh, Chai Yo. Maybe Oak Bai. All right. So, over and out. Uh, Naraka Metal. Um, DM me at uh, Instagram. Over on Instagram at Naraka Metal if you want information about the food and all that stuff. So, cool. Out. Oh boy, that was a good one.